Hello learners of class 10. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, we are doing the second part of the lesson, the making of the scientist from your supplement reader, the footprints without feet. Lesson 6, the making of the scientist. Learners, with me is of course you and Kriti. Uh, Kriti, thank you very much uh, for your uh, very good narration of the story in the first part. So, for the benefit of learners and we ourselves, let us recall the childhood of Ebright, Richard Ebright. So, sure, you, you said uh, the last point you said was um, he was trying to develop cells from the wings of butterflies and particularly he found that the yellow part is feeding to the growth of cells. This is a big breakthrough which he did. Yes, sir. When, when, was, when, when did he do it? When he was in uh, school, high school. school. That, that was a great thing. So, let us recall uh, the childhood life of uh, Richard E. Bright again for learners. So, then we will move on to narrate the story further and do some activities. Come on, go ahead. Sure, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, Richard E. Bright was a child who was continuously very enthusiastic about science from the very beginning when he was in school. And his mother found that interest in him and he and she always nurtured her in that sense. Like she always gave him tools, equipments, books to learn so that the process is it's yeah. keep on going. It yeah. does not stop. Great. He was interested in butterflies. So, she, she made arrangement for in his uh, basement and the garden to grow butterflies and tag it for scientist doctor, you, you know, you, you hurt. Uh, you hurt. Then later, uh, he she gave him a book which changed his life. Yes, sir. What was the book? Sir, the monarchs of the travels of the Monarch. travels of monarchs the tenth. Uh, yes, I mean, yes. That is, he was talking. The, the book was about uh, it's children's literature. Yes, it's for children to read. But towards the end, there was some activity. That is, if you are interested, do this. That's that came from the scientist. Then he thought that oh, by uh, butterflies do migrate. That was a great thing. So. One book that changed the world. Now, a world of a child into a scientist. Come on, let us continue to uh, understand the story. Come on, what did he do with his experiment? Then come on, tell us how he moved about later. Come on. So, he at the very beginning, he started to capture the butterflies and he started tagging them to see how they migrate. And after that, he also participated in many science experiments. And uh, we can say that it was the real life which uh, hit him that when he lost the... Then what was his realization in science fair? His realization was that he has to do something physical instead of putting neatly things down. Uh, and and uh, real science. Real science. So, he says yes, that sir. something called real science. So, what is real science learners? Uh, how scientists do? We have seen that bulb, you know. Uh, with tungsten leaves, uh, that is what Thomas Alva Edison found. Then later, tube light came with what is it? Vap what is it? Sodium vapor, we call it, some vapor, I do not know. Um, mercury vapor, yes, I do not know. I am not a science student, I am a literature student. Then later, now we had IED, LED, so many things. Uh, the, the things have, this is real science. People keep on working. Uh, that the same way ISRO has launched uh, almost hundreds of satellites. The every time they improve it, that is a real science. And we know that how foods are, food items are preserved and how science, you know, in those days we had uh, paddy and wheat variety, uh, varieties uh, more than 140 days. Now, we have wheat and uh, rice varieties 80 days, 90 days maximum. So, farmers are able to cultivate within 3 months and we get the food. So, this is real science. So, you realized it. Come on. Okay, learners and Kriti. So, what we have understood and we need to understand from the life of this uh, child who later became a scientist uh, is uh, encouragement, scientific thinking, curiosity. Come on, let us now uh, continue to listen to Kriti to know the story of the young scientist, how he, in a, he, he, he became a serious scientist. Come on, point 30th you should be reading to our learners. Come on. Sure, sir. <laughs> His experiment during his high school second year, Richard Ebright continued his experiment with wings of monarch. He grew cells from monarch's wings and showed that the cells would divide and develop 
into normal butterfly wings only if they were fed the hormone from the gold spots. Okay, what did it fetch for him? This project won first place for zoology at the international fair. He spent the summer after graduation doing further work at the army laboratory and at the laboratory of the US Department of Agriculture. So, having seen his work, so now at the graduate, for the graduation, uh, they, are, they allowed him to work in the US Agricultural Laboratory. Then uh, also army laboratory, look at it, how, is, how supports come for a, a young scientist, young scientist who is yet to become a scientist from army laboratories, agriculture laboratories, so that the, the, the country was looking forward to uh, an young scientist to you know, nurture and, mm -hmm. and, and, and budding scientist, mm -hmm. come on, go ahead. Mm -hmm. During his first year of graduation at Harvard University, Ebright continued his work in laboratory and was able to identify the hormone's chemical structure. So, that is a big thing, you know. So, he was able to uh, find from the insects and butterflies also uh, the hormone structure. Imagine learners yeah, at that time, this particular research, uh, what is it, structuring the hormones, understanding the hormones was a big thing. Then later of course, in 90s, uh, 2000, I think 2000, after 2010, uh, Nobel Prize was given to DNA mapping. They map, they took 10, 20 years to map the DNA of humans. Oh, okay, so, that has been how our cells DNA, you know, the, the inner part of, I do not know what it DNA actually means, means, means I understand, I am unable to explain like a biologist or biology teacher. So, they mapped it. So, he started it 30 years ago. 30, 40 years ago. Go. That was a breakthrough. Then, then, then what did he do? He got idea for his new theory about cell life. It came while he was looking at X-ray photos of the chemical structure of a hormone. Okay, it's 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 not easy. You through microscope you look at things. Then there are very sophisticated microscopes. Through through from X-ray he found something. Then he didn't stop with that. Look at what he did. It was a breakthrough. He found answers for one of biology's puzzles, how the cell can read the blueprint of DNA. That is a great thing. No, no, cells ha have to react to the DNA and then DNA comes, brings your hereditary. Some Now, recently I read, I do not know how far it is scientifically true, whatever uh, DNA I get which comes from 20 generations back. So, I may inherit a particular trait from one of those people, either from my father's side or mother's side and that side means grandfather, grandmother likewise and from 20 generations I inherit something, some character or other. So, look at the human mystery and, and, and it is a kind of puzzle, that is what biology is puzzle, it, they are saying, come on, read, read it again, that one particular one. It was a breakthrough, he found answers for one of biology's puzzles, how the cell can read the blueprint of DNA. Okay, how cells react, reading and reacting to the DNA, yeah. DNA is the substance in the nucleus of a cell that controls heredity. It determines the form and function of the cell. So, that is what, from people hereditarily, so that cell decides, reads and reacts. So, it is a big thing for a first year graduate student to do a research on that, come on. Thus, DNA is the blueprint for life. So, learners, DNA tells you how you behave, what you eat, how, what disease you might get, everything. So, that is why recent research which brought Nobel Prize is, is mapping the DNA, come on. Hmm. Ebright and his college roommate James R. Wong worked all that night drawing pictures and constructing plastic models of molecules to show how it could happen. Look at the thing, that is what you know in chemistry, we make physical models of the molecules. Yes, sir. So, they tried to Recreate. saw something in the, in the, on the x-ray, then they try to make it physically in order to demonstrate oh, how it happens. So, painting and artists are also required for science, that is the thing, okay, come on. Hmm. They later wrote a paper that explained the theory. This findings got them fame and name. 
Ebright graduated from Harvard with highest honors. He went on to become graduate student researcher at Harvard Medical School. There he continued his experiments to test his theory. So that was uh, studying in Harvard itself is not easy. Then uh, that to a graduate researcher means soon after graduation he was admitted into uh, re doing research that would later uh, get him a doctorate degree that is generally done after a masters uh, all over the world. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sir. He was the pioneer in cell research and DNA. That is also microbiology, known as microbiology. Yeah. It was all his curiosity of his school time and reading of the book. His high school research led to his theory about cell life. Collecting butterflies, which was encouraged by his mother and his deep interest in it made him to do new things in life. That, that's when first of all, you show your interest and your commitment to something then people, adults for a child to support it. There are many, many, many factors involved and that is that's, that's important that how parents have to encourage children rather than imposing what we want them to, be, to do. Definitely yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Richard E. Bright had always been bright student who took part in other activities like debating. His social science teacher was the one he admired. He said, Mr. Viharar, was the perfect person for me then. He opened my mind to new ideas. Mr. Viharar praised E. Bright as what pleased me was here was this person who put in three or four hours at night doing debate research besides doing all his research with butterflies. That's right. No, two things. Uh, it's, it was not that he was only you know, bookworm doing science experiments. But he was participating in debating and other sports activities and uh, which uh, uh, his social science teacher, he never says science teacher, social science teacher who was in charge of debating society, model United Nations uh, society, who encouraged him to take part in all those and almost all the activities he stood first, an extraordinary student in other, other fields also, not simply in science. So, learners, it is not that you pick up one field and uh, excel it, but you should not lose your childhood, play, read, go to library, be with friends, enjoy your time. With that, do your reading and writing and your uh, school work also. That was the uh, message or uh, experience, uh, what is it? Richard Ebright, uh, Ebright's life and childhood is telling us. Okay. Then what happens? He became, he won a lot of laurels, lot of prizes in the field of science and I think um, he was born in 1959 or something, he is he's fine, he is alive. Yeah, yes, uh, he is 61 he, years old he's now. He is 61 years old and he is doing very well in the field. Uh, he is known as the well-known renowned microbiologist. Yes. He has guided many students to do his research, uh, doctoral uh, studies and also a lot of research relating to DNA cell, he continues to do. Uh, look at the life commitment which started as a hobby. So, learners, a hobby may lead you to something great. We have seen that many, many of the people, um, uh, politicians, uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, um, uh, many, many such people, even Gandhi who, want, who was a trained lawyer who became the father of the nation because of his commitment to social political happenings in the country. Okay. That is the end of the story of, uh, childhood story of uh, Ebright. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. Learners, you can Google, read about him. We will show one image of him. There are lots of uh, images. Uh, if you go to Wikipedia, a lot of things are there. Now, Kriti and the learners, let yes, me sir. ask you some questions. Sure, sir. What makes a scientist or an economist or a philosopher or a cricketer, uh, any, any, anything? Uh, does the school have something to do or the person has to do something? Be frank, you can be sure, against school also. No, sure sir. <laughs> okay. Sir, I guess this is a collective uh, effect, effort. Mm -hmm. effort. So, because the student has in school has to uh, come up with a passion which is not easy to you know uh, bring it out. The teacher has to support him to identify what is the effort he is putting more into either painting or singing or he is into science or, or he is into sports. Similarly, after school there is equal effort of the parents as well. 
because at home they also have to identify their child into which uh, activity he is putting his efforts into. Fine, great, good, well said, well said. Then uh, um, look at the commitment of the child. We yes, can't sir. expect we can't expect a very child to have such commitment. One is the the basic needs. Where parents are not uh, that uh, comfortable in giving ch children uh, everything. That's one. The other one is uh, children are in a way directionless also in school. There is some sort of guidance required. Yes, definitely. Right. Sir. Learners, read the story again. Try to make out uh, what this child was up to. Then there are many such stories to uh, tell, learn about. Here is a book uh, by a National Book Trust when they were children by Tangamani. Uh, this is a, uh, this book consists of a lot of uh, great people from India, their childhood lives. Uh, for example, let me show some of them. Boy with the golden boots, uh, Boy Chuk Bhutia, that means a sports person. Mm, then, then we have uh, singing her way to into our hearts by uh, this is a childhood story of Lada Mangeshkar. Then, little girl who packed a punch, that is Mary Comb, the boxer. Then, the joy of sharing, Yenar Narayana Murthy, we know that Infosys chairperson. Then, then nurturing nature, that is R K Pachuri, who founded that Niri, you know. National uh, Institute of uh, what is it? Uh, Environmental Engineering, and he, he got Nobel Prize for uh, Environment, and and Call of the Mountains, Santosh Yadav, Yadav, uh, Santosh Yadav, uh, Call of the Mountains, Santosh Yadav, who climbed scale Mount, Mount Everest. Everest. Yes, sir. Then then Princess of uh, Bandavani, uh, it's a childhood life of Tijan boy. So there are many things, uh, learners. You may read this story. Uh, that is very important in life to read the autobiographies and these are all simple narrations of their childhood. And, and the other book I would like to uh, introduce you uh, to you is The World of Insects by Herni Fabre uh, by Vinyan Prashar. Vinyan Prashar is also Government of India uh, publication and they bring out lot of books on science, how things work. Then, Mm, there are small, uh, uh, there are books for small children. Why I am uh, looking like my father or mother? Uh, then why uh, I speak like my father? I mean the 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 genetic thing they talk about. Uh, why I why I am different from others? So this is talking about uh, insects, how they move, and it's a painstaking research. So there are lots of things, and also in our um, footprints without uh, fate, there are uh, one one more uh, story. Uh, uh, autobiographical story. Now, learners, what will I do? I have read this lesson. We know very well from examination point of view also, Kriti. Yes, sir. Uh, we don't have short answer questions. We have uh, one paragraph question to understand and interpret the story. Uh, so, we need to really read for extrapolative questions. Supposing I am going to ask you for the benefit of learners and yes, we, uh, we ourselves. What are the main characteristics of the life of this boy, Ibrite? Sir, I guess the main characteristics of the life of Ibrite was when he found out what he is passionate about, that is insects and butterflies. And the times when uh, his mother was always helping him, supporting him. The time when he found out that he is nothing in actual physical world of science when he lost the science uh, fair and when he actually won it, when he identified uh, how the beetles are affecting the growth of uh, the monarch butterflies, but he was wrong in his finding as well. So, he found out many things as well, how the golden spot helps the DNA of the this, butterfly. This are all, yeah, fine, these are all the actions he did. One thing he was continuously doing, I was expecting you to tell us, that means he was reflecting yes, sir. of his activities whether they were right or wrong. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, this, this is yes. called a reflection. Um, the reflection is the whole day I spent in school or playing and then when you go to bed or sometime in between, or you, oh, I did this, what was the meaning of it and did I do wrong even for with our behaviors was I rude with someone, this is called reflection. 
So, reflection is very important in science, social science to lead a life. Suppose by mistake you said something to someone, then later, oh, did I, did I say it right? This is called reflection. In science, reflection is very important and when a writer writes, there also it is important. So, he writes the story, rereads some lines of po uh, poetry, uh, uh, po uh, uh, five lines, then he reads back to reflect, to have I conveyed it correctly. So, reflection, this we otherwise people call it meta thinking and meta thinking is what we think. Meta thinking is coming out of oneself and think. Oh, suppose sometimes we see, you know, we, we have dressed up very well. So, then look at the camera, so look at the mirror, sorry, look at the uh, mirror and say, oh, have I dressed up well? This is a kind of reflection. Now, the mirror reflection will tell you. So, reflect on it learners and the same way in, in the story also you reflect on it, draw the character sketch of this young boy describing his childhood. This is one writing activity we are going to give you. Kriti will draw a kind of concept map for you. Hmm? Okay, sir. You draw a, a bright childhood, then you draw it, come on let us do it. Uh, that is one activity we would like to do. The second one learners uh, is uh, read any such autobiography, childhood biography, maybe it may be Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Patel, anybody you want, then try to understand. There is a book on Sardar Patel, Indomitable Patel. So, let me narrate one, one example from Patel's life because we may have known other exam, many other examples from others life. So, Patel was arguing in the court, then a, a message was given to him. He read it and put it in his pocket uh, and continued to argue. Then when the judgment was delivered, his party was released, people were released. Then the judge called him later. So, there was a message for you, it's, it appeared to be very serious and urgent, the person who brought it was very serious. Then what was it? He, he showed it, someone very near to him passed away. Oh. Then he said, oh, you should have left it and gone, we should have uh, post urgent. No sir, had I left there, uh, this one life gone is gone, a, a, out of sickness something, but the other lives would have been in at stakes, that is why I wanted to. So, this is a commitment that book is Intomitable Patel. So, there are many such uh, sto biographies uh, learners, uh, Nelson Mandela in class 10 you have read mm. Long Walk to Freedom, look at the struggle 28 years in jail. Yes, sir. So, autobiographies have lot to say tell us, so books can change the world, read, 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 that is in a way the message of this lesson the child read and do not think that any reading is trivial. Learners, uh, we know oh, how autobiography is reading makes people uh, changed people and uh, we talked about reflection, uh, reading make nurtures thinking and reflection. Fine, learners, uh, there are two uh, or three kind of questions which might occur, uh, uh, which might uh, uh, be asked based on this story. One is description of his childhood, that is one. The other one is describing your childhood. So, let us take up uh, the characteristics of his childhood or uh, that means William, uh, sorry Richard, uh, characteristics of Richard's Ebright's childhood. So, learners, we will first discuss brainstorm ourselves. What will you write, Kiriti? Sir, if I am talking about Richard's, uh, Richard E. Bright's characteristics, I would tell him that he was a very hard working person. Fine. Because he was continuously working on the projects given to him. Then he was also dedicated. Fine. He was and, and, and dedicated at, at childhood. Yes, sir. Generally, we are playful, not minding things, unwilling to do homework. Yes, but sir. But he did that. Yeah. Then. Sir, uh, being a bookworm, if we if mm. we can say so, he was also a brilliant canoeist. Mm. He was into uh, extra co-curricular activities. Debating and all. He was all. into debating mm. as well. We also get to know that he always had his mother's support. Support always. Yes, he was sir. like a friend and companion. Yes, sir. That's very important, parents. If you are watching, and learners, you also uh, have a share with your friend, friend, uh, sorry, parents, your ideas as well as friends, and tell them that I want to do this so that they can encourage you. 
Kriti has narrated very well and we did lot of discussions. Then important thing is to read, learn to reflect and indulge in activities, do activities which you are interested, convince your parents and school to take the activity as life career. We call it vocation, V O C H E V O. I mean that is the lifetime, um, the job you, the mo you like the most. Okay, now, uh, two things we will do, two work. One is the characteristics we discussed, the uh, life, uh, childhood of Richard Ebright, which she will demonstrate through um, mind mapping and how first draft, second draft can be written in to get into a good write up. This is first activity. Second one you will be doing on your own is following the same model, write about your childhood, the characteristics, the things you did, things you did not like, people you loved or hated, the trees around you, the, the your backyard or friend yard that is portico, whatever you want. You write about the incidents which took place in school as well as at home. This is please do these two things uh, as a kind of homework or school work, whatever work. Uh, then learners, that is what this part 2 of this uh, lesson, the making of the scientist. I do believe and hope that there are many scientists, historians, novelists, uh, what is it, engineers, politicians are sitting there watching this uh, and to become one day what you want to be. Uh, we will stop it there. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Let us thank uh, Kriti for her active participation. Uh, we do believe that you also participated. Please read the story twice and do the activities. And one, one another book I would like to uh, refer to you is uh, Discovered Questions or Random Questions by Professor Eshpal. Uh, these are the questions which I mentioned in the beginning. Children asked him those questions, it has answers. One interesting question uh, a child, one child asked Professor Eshpal uh, uh, is, um, after a long uh, summer, hot summer, uh, it rain, it rains and when it rains, some smell comes from the soil. So, the child could not understand. Professor Eshpal answers saying that, I could not find out, I am a physicist. And then I asked some three, four biologists, zoologists. Then all of them came with different answers. One answer was most uh, striking that was some bacteria which uh, which was bacteria is hiding in the sand. When it rains, it comes out that is a smell. So, those kinds of questions that the, it was called uh, discovered questions published by NCRT and um, a National Book Trust has published it as uh, um, random questions. So, and another one another book I would like to refer to you is a Hindu newspaper has brought out um, uh, Hindu speaks on scientific, scientific facts. These were the questions asked by people, uh, they have every Wednesday some scientific questions, science questions, based questions which were answered by scientists. So, that is very interesting. One of the question is crabs can walk sideways, uh, it can okay. go also forward and backward. Yes. Uh, but it is difficult for other insects and this one and it, it can walk backwards. So, it is said it is a great uh, what's it, that, uh, technology uh, which they apply. So, there are many such things learners read those things so that you get some inspiration to move on to. So, we stop it there. Thank you very much for uh, patiently watching and participating. Let me thank you uh, Kriti for your participation. Thank you so and much sir for having me here. Thank you. We will meet you in the next lesson next time. Till then, take care.